So this is my Uno game. Uh, so there's a lot of options that allows you to play, which is similar to the Uno official game through Steam. Um, you can have your uh, allowing stacking of two or four um, for draw two and draw four. Uh, by default, I've got it on because that's a state that I enjoy playing with. Um, I also have on by default the draw till you can play a card, so that just means you draw lots of cards anytime you have to perform a draw as a turn action. Um, and so that's by on by default, but you can toggle it if you want. Then we have the uh, other rules which are off by default. So first of all, if you've got four players, the reverse card reverses the turn order. But if you had only two players, um, then it would turn reverse into a skip. Um, but if we've got the four, you can see it changes back to normal rules for reverse. The seven zero rule is one where the uh, seven and zero cards change from being just number cards to performing actions, where they either allow you to swap cards with another player, or where you're able to um, pass all the cards in the entire game to the next player. The jump in rule lets you play uh, basically cards uh, that are the same as exact card as the one that's currently down on the top of the deck and you can jump in with those cards at any time. Um, and so this works with all of the AI and everything. The forced play rule means that if you can play a card when you're drawing them out that you have to play the card. There's no choice of keeping the card as an action. The no bluffing rule means that uh, you can't challenge a uh, draw four, and so you have to always draw. Um, but in the case of uh, the regular game, you can challenge um, and you can bluff that you've actually got uh, a draw four available to be used when you may not have been allowed to play it. Uh, so in terms of the score limit, so this doesn't matter too much, but allows you by default just a single game is one round, or you could change it to a number of points. And uh, the winner is determined overall by the number of total points, or you could just have an unlimited score and you can just continuously add more. So you can also change your name, or you can change the uh, strategy being used by the AI. There's an offensive strategy, a defensive strategy, or a chaotic or you could just use random and it'll choose one of the other strategies randomly. So we'll just leave all of those as random. Also, every single time you start the game, it will give different random names to the AI. So you can see we've got uh, Greta, Mo, and Stella, but these could be called anything. At the moment our name is player, but it will allow us to, if we click here, we can type in our name. And so I might just call myself Peter, and you can see that it changes the name in the game to Peter. So if we just start the game, you can see it's our turn first in this case, and so we'll just play our nine, and the AI will just choose as they go around. So they've chained the draw four, and uh, the draw four was challenged, but it was failed as a challenge, and so Stella had to draw more cards. So you can see the skip. So whenever there's an action that has something, um, now I have to draw a card. You can see now I get to choose whether I keep or play it. So I might play that one. So now there's a draw four where I could choose to challenge. Um, I am going to not challenge it. And so that just means I'll get four cards automatically. So now it's blue, so I'll just play a blue card. And you can see in the middle here, it's showing the current action that is being decided by the AI. So it's getting a little dicey here where they've only got one card. I'm gonna play my draw two. And they didn't have a draw two, so they couldn't stack their own. So I can choose here, I've got a choice of either declining, which would make me draw two, or I can 
play my own draw two in response with the stacking rule. Now it's back around to me, but I don't have any greens and I don't have any skips, so I must draw. And I will play the red skip. And it's back to me again. And you can see that the names highlight in orange as it goes around to show whose turn it is at the time. Uh, they're playing a draw four against the player with the one card. A lot of color changing in this game. So I'm playing the seven. Now they've played a reverse. You can see the little moving orbs in the middle here. These are indicating the order of play. So now it's come back to me. Greta choosing a response, and they just took it. Play my three. You can see they had to draw a whole lot of cards to reach a playable card. Again, I can't play anything, so I'll have to draw. I will play the draw two. And Stella chained their own draw two. And then Greta played a draw two separately. So I can play my five this time. And they've reversed right away, so I've got to draw some more cards. Four. And again, I'm in a situation where I can't play anything, so I have to draw. I will skip. Play my one. Skip. Two. Get rid of my four. Reverse. Guess I'll play my draw two. Getting very close here. So I've played their Uno call. Uh, I have to draw. I can play. Change to red. And they obviously don't have a red. Uh, we'll risk it. And they obviously had a yellow, so it's game over. Alright, so we will try another, and I'll just turn on the 7 0 rule. And so we'll start a game with this. So I've actually got a uh, draw four this time. So I'll uh, hold that for a little bit so that I can use it strategically. And so they challenged the draw four and failed. Uh, I'll just play out my colored cards as much as possible. But you can see here, the problem with that is that now they've shuffled all of the hands around. Uh, so I might challenge this one, and I successfully did it, so I got a tick. Play my two. So we don't have anything to play, so we'll draw. And we'll play. It's not looking good with the opposite player having just two, but that's been dealt with by making them draw four. Uh, I don't have a blue. So I have to draw. So we can demonstrate here playing a seven. So you can see playing the seven is what shuffles the entire hands around. And that's based on the turn order. So if the turn order is going one way, it'll do it one way, otherwise it'll do the other way. So hopefully we can get a zero here at some point, so we can show that off as well. And we've been forced to draw two cards. And 
And it was a hand swap that just went on there. So I guess we'll skip. So we're already getting to an Uno there. And they were able to finish. Try again and see if we can get a zero. Ooh, my challenge is successfully challenged. So we're clearly bluffing. Uh, we'll play our five. A lot of draw twos being played here. It's been skipped. They're choosing another player to swap with. They swapped with us, which is funny because they now gave us... Uh, so now we can call Uno with this button and play the seven, um, which is not all that good because... Uh, yeah, now we gave them the just the two the single card because of course it was a seven. Hopefully we'll get a zero at some point here, so we can actually show off that though. Uh, we have to draw. We can play that. Uh, it's blue. That is not helpful. We will keep the wild. Uh, we're in a very awkward situation. Play the drawn card. Uh, draw again. Getting lucky with the draws off the top to be getting ones we can play fairly easily. So thankfully it's green now. Hopefully you can stay green for a little bit to let us get some card thing happening. Unless that happens. And this hand still doesn't have a zero on it. There are only uh, four zeros in the deck total, I think. This hand also doesn't have a zero on it. does make this game mode a fair bit more chaotic. Uh, so they obviously have a red. And you can see there the AI called out. I could have pressed the button down here to do my own call out. Like that. Now this player is called Uno. Um, so it's... Uh, Potentially a problem. Do a plus two there. You can see the AI called that out. We have a zero. Let's see if we can hold on to that and turn it blue. One that one doesn't help us. Back down to an Uno. Oh. I took the four. And now we have a zero. So now I can play my zero. And I can choose which player that I want to swap with. So I will take the hand of the two. And we've swapped hands again. So even if you think you're really close. And you can see that this hand has two sevens in it. So... I can't dump this hand effectively anyway. We'll see what happens with this one card person though. Uh, play that again. And that round is over. And so uh, I think I demonstrated all of the cards. I don't think I demonstrated a wild yet though, so I might try another one, but I'll turn off the um, and go back to the default rules. Let's just try again with this. So I'll try and uh, see if I can get a wild. 
to be able to demonstrate using a wild card. Uh, we will just draw and try and get a wild that way. Instead of playing our optimal move to reduce our hand size. Uh, just play that as if it was a drawn card. They failed the draw four. And uh, we'll draw. So getting a fairly big hand now. Uh, we will chain. Make them draw a whole lot. So play the card. Draw and play. Eventually it has to give us a draw for. Play. Hopefully the, uh, yes, they did have to draw a heap of cards. And there we've got a wild. So I'll play this card. So you can see I've got the color selector here. And so if I choose any of the segments, which is the one that's moved out from the rest of them, that will be the segment that is chosen for the color. So if I just go green, you can see it's changed to green and play resumes with it being green. And it's basically the same for the draw four version of the wild. Um, so we'll just play this game out and see how it goes from this point. Uh, we will chain. And we will play another. Gradually thinning our hand, but it's definitely concerning with Taco only having two cards now. We'll see how that goes as we uh, get rid of more. Hope the AI forces draws. Uh, we'll skip the lower hand. Thankfully there's some more skipping going on. And here we have a draw four. It's very likely they've chosen a color that is something that they need, so we're going to just decline and we're forced to draw four. But that's given us our own draw four. Um we should probably uh, challenge it. And that failed the challenge. So we are now sitting on the most cards significantly on the board. Our chances are very slim in winning here. Uh, see if the AI decides to challenge this draw four. They did challenge it. And so you can see this made us draw cards. Now they're down to an Uno. Let's see if uh, the other players are able to do anything to stop it. And that's probably not going to stop it. And so they win with a score of 272. Alright, that's all for this demo.